everybody. All right. This should be fun and interesting. Come on in, y'all. Hope everybody's doing well. This so that I can see. Thank you all so much for being here. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. Let's take that down. Oh, <laughs> for anybody new here, hi, I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. No, I am not Alex Horbosi, but I do follow Alex Horbosi. I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to another struggle cooking class. We are kicking off a new series today. We are kicking off a series called 12 Days of Protein. And I'm already feeling the masculine energy. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to have some fun. So if you're new here, I am not a professional chef. I am just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. And I love recreating recipes, um, social media recipes for my own health and wellness journey. So another cooking video came across my feed, y'all. And it was by Alex Hormozzi, who is an author. He is an entrepreneur. And uh, I have followed him for other business content. I am all about food and femininity. I love helping feminine women attract and keep the masculine man of their dreams. So if you want to work with me offline, go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. But as you saw from the thumbnail, Alex Hormozzi is quite the muscle man. I am not. Y'all know <laughs> Maggie's like memory foam. But I put a survey up on my YouTube community tab asking you all if we should keep the recipes family friendly or we should do this series. And you all voted 100 to 0 that you wanted me to recreate this protein series. So Alex Hormozzi has a new cookbook with 12 recipes. I put my name on the list to receive it and uh, we are going to do one recipe per day. All right, so sit back and relax and let's have some fun. I'd love to know what you all think. We are going to take attendance. If you would like to be counted present in this struggle cooking class, feel free to announce yourself. However, if you prefer to watch quietly from the clouds and you know who you are, you're always welcome here. We are the happy wholesome some family friendly side of YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You don't stop. All right. So let's stop. On, let's start on TikTok. Oh, thank you so much for the compliments. Y'all are so kind. I see T Bowie. I see Ken T. Oh my goodness. Y'all are coming in hot. Uh, L Polly. Carl is here. Jacob, Yola, Kat M. Jones, Gertrude. Ken says you have a winning smile. Thank you so much for the compliment. I appreciate that. Freddie Marty, user 547, Sal House, Damon, Oh, thank you all for liking the live stream and Darlene, 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 Darlene. I know it's Jolene. If you're new here, I make up songs. All right. Who do we have on IG? We have, oh God, I don't know if I can say that one. New show. It's a long one. Datto, Pound, uh, Julian. Uh, hello. Oh, Julu Wan and Rena is here. Hello, my dear. Thank you so much for being here. Put my jewelry on. I forgot earlier. I'm going to try and hold on to my femininity, y'all. This is going to be quite the masculine series, all right? So let me know what you all think so far uh, as we go through here. Uh, who do we have here? UFO Kamikaze in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Always coming through with his plate. We got Mona in the house. She says, hi, Maggie in class. Mona, the moderator, is here. Thank you all for liking the live stream. I really appreciate it. Lisa says, I have no idea what we're in for tonight. Y'all, buckle up, buttercup, okay? And here's the disclaimer. As I always say, I am a happy, wholesome, family-friendly channel. This video has some swear words in it, all right? You don't find that on my channel. I was going to see if I could clip them out, but just... <laughs> bear with me, but we are going to do one recipe per day for 12 days. So this is a 30 minute video. We're just going to start with day number one. We got Vani in the house saying, hello, Maggie. We got Bell in the house saying, hey, class, Bell is here. I missed you too. So good to see you, my dear. Lady Navoa is here. She says, hi, Miss Maggie. Everybody's saying hello to each other. All right, you all. So I am going to play the video. And since this is the intro, 
I'll hold it up so everyone can see. And then we are going to make recipe number one. What is recipe number one? I'm so glad you asked. It is a cereal protein bomb. So here's the disclaimer. I am not a chef. I just play one on YouTube. But Alex Hermosi likes to have 100 grams of protein in every meal. That's a lot. So what is that? 200 grams of protein. So these are very protein heavy, lower fat recipes. Now, of course, if you're trying to bulk up or whatever your goals are, maybe this will work for you. But protein does have a lot of health benefits, lowers blood sugar, I think, keeps you fuller longer, um, all those good things. Y'all probably know you could put them in the chat. Okay. So let's go over to the video. And I did link the video in the description because at the end, Alex Hormozzi says if we make any of these recipes to tag him. So I have tagged him and I will continue to do so. All right, so let me turn the volume up a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit of an intro and then we will watch recipe number one and then I'll recreate it. 2024, well, you're gonna need lots of exogenous testosterone and to pick better parents. But if you're not gonna do either of those things, I've got 12 protein packed recipes that require zero time, zero prep, have almost zero carbs almost zero fat and tons and tons of protein this alone is over 200 grams of protein and almost that's the last one i'm going to show you this recipe at the end of the video first we'll talk about it chef bro rd to the rescue so breakfast the least talked about thing of the day. i love like breakfast first, champions for old people uh it's also great for gains so uh, i have a question sorry to interrupt but this may be a dumb question. What are gains? I know I'm not trying to gain weight. I'm trying to lose. But does that mean those of y'all that are trying to gain muscle? Is that what gains means? I don't know. Let us continue. Enough, like I do, or if you're somebody who eats too much, also works for you. I'm going to show you how to make a 100 gram protein bomb for zero prep in just a minute using stuff that you have at home that actually tastes delicious. So number one, I use this Faya yogurt. There's plenty of other brands. It doesn't really matter. I use the 0%. This puppy has 94 grams of protein in it and just under 500 calories. Okay. So, so one it. second, y'all. You see he's holding the Faye yogurt. So I'm going to get the ingredients out as we're doing this. Let me just start by cleaning the counters just to have it. So I am your substitute teacher because usually I cook with sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free substitutes for me, okay? Now, if you can have full flavor, I always tell you, have some for me. Now, you will see that Alex eats milk products. Um, I'm sure, you know, he the recipes are low in sugar, and then there may be some carbs, you know, the gluten. So we are going to try and recreate his recipes the way he did it. And then if I have time, I will uh, either show you or speak to another uh, substitute for the recipes. But let me start with the yogurt so you all can see. So I'm going to come back to the video. I'm going to get the ingredients out so you all can see for this protein cereal protein bomb, we need Faye non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Look at the portion, y'all. Three and three quarter cups. Okay. So this is the big one. One second. All right. So you all know this size that you get in the grocery store. <laughs> this is usually the size that we eat but he is talking about this big one. Now this is a breakfast for him. So this is the Faye Greek yogurt. You can see it's, whatever, what does it say? Three and three quarter cups. So I believe that's this whole thing. So almost four cups, 32 ounces, a, a cup is eight ounces. So he's talking about eating one of these as one of the ingredients for the meal. Now, look, <laughs> I was shocked just like y'all, but uh, you can tell by looking at him, he is um, a muscle man. So, you know, maybe he can eat this whole thing. If you all can eat this whole thing in a meal, put the yogurt emoji in the chat. So I'm showing you all this and I bought this for the video. I am actually going to recreate it in the small portion. It is late. I'm in Atlanta. I'm not trying to eat this thing. 
Now, here's the thing. This uh, Faye yogurt, so this is real dairy. Um, if you can tolerate dairy, by all means. Greek yogurt is actually a wonderful substitute um, for sour cream. You can use it in a lot of different recipes. And especially if you get the one that's zero fat, it's low fat or non-fat, but it still has the protein. I remember when I went to Greece last summer, some of y'all that were with me, and um, one of the desserts that we had was real Greek yogurt. And I'm telling you, if you have had Greek yogurt in Greece, you understand. Not only do they not use the non-fat, they don't use the low fat. They use the full fat yogurt. So you really just need like a little handful because it's so thick and creamy. And then they have this topping on there. I'll see if I can find it in the pantry. I brought some home called Spoon Sweet. And it's like sweetened fruit that they put on top. A little goes a long way. And the benefit of protein is that it keeps you fuller longer. All right. Let's see what y'all are talking about. <laughs> Lady Navoa says, I don't care what it tastes like. I'm going to eat it if you cook it. Team Greedy, shout out. So we're not actually cooking today, but we are going to try this first recipe that is his cereal protein bomb. Lady Navoa says, this is like jail meals. Um, I wouldn't know, but let me know what you all think so far. Um, <laughs> Gillis is in the house. She says, Maggie, thank you for the thumbnail. This is Alex Hormozzi's cookbook. So I figured what better uh, image than to give you all um, <laughs> the muscle man. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Ooh, the condemned says, I just left Fogo. The lamb was delicious. Yes. If you are a meditarian and we have scholars that eat everything, we've got vegetarians here. We've got pescatarians here. We've got vegans here and our meditarian. So yes, shout out to Fogo for the lamb. Uh, who do we have? <laughs> I'm going to Fogo. We got Tara in the house. Hello, my dear. She says, good evening, all. I've missed you. We've missed you too. And you're here for the protein. Yes. So ladies, um, this will be good for your men. Uh, maybe you're a boy mom like me. This could be a healthy snack. I have, we have two sons, uh, 14 and 16, and one is a swimmer growing boys. They eat all the time. All right. So I just wanted to show you all for portion. This is what he used. I'm going to recreate this uh, small size. Okay. So let us continue. You have this whole thing. It is filling. And for people who struggle with dairy, yogurt tends to do a little bit better than something you just drink pure milk. It's already turned. It already has some of those metabolites and all that fancy stuff that I know nothing about. That being said, I do know that if you eat that compared to drinking a gallon of milk, that's easier on the stomach. Now, we're going to take something that's all natural, and we're going to ruin it with lots of artificial flavors so that it's actually delicious. And you can use a bowl. What I usually do is I just put it in here because I don't like dishes. And I will take fruit punch. I like berry, personally. Uh, there's different ones. There's like a berry sangria that's pretty good. And the nice thing with this is that these are always available everywhere. So if you travel and you usually have your mainstays at home, you're like, shoot, what do I do? Like almost every grocery store nowadays has, has Greek yogurt. Okay. So let's take a minute there. I'm going to get the next ingredient. So you all can see, oh, you can't see. You all can see he's about to put some drink mix in there and he's calling it generic crystal light. You can see from the picture here, he uses crystal light. So I ordered a couple. I'll let you all choose which one you want. Okay. So drink mixes. You can use either Crystal Light or you can use um, the store brand. I'm sure they're fine. You'll notice when he says in the video, okay, this is the, um, the bottle size. You can tell here this is the bottle size. They make the water bottle size and they actually make the pitcher size. So he is actually using the pitcher size uh, drink mixes. He also says that he likes this flavor berry sangria. I don't know if y'all can see that. They also have these little um, concentrates. Uh, if you're trying to drink more water, but you want some flavor in it, this is sugar-free. You can add this to your water, add it to your teas. And this little container, it's no mess. And then you can just squeeze this into your drinks. But he is going to put this in his yogurt. All right. So I'll let y'all choose. Um, do you want fruit punch or do you want berry sangria? All right. Everybody's doing well. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple of substitutes. I don't know if you all heard him say... If you struggle with dairy, uh, I can have it. It just, you know, for me, I get kind of like, I'm sensitive to it. So, you know, I'm going to try it for today. But if you are sensitive to dairy, according to Alex's cookbook, 
yogurt is actually easier on the tummy than drinking straight milk. So this is uh, what he recommends, but I'm gonna show you all a couple other substitutes because I'm your substitute teacher. Sorry, y'all, I should have brought them to the front. All right, so if you absolutely cannot have dairy, we're gonna make it Alex's way, but I just wanna show you all, hello brother and hello you four. All right, so Greek yogurt is what he recommends, full milk Greek yogurt. You can also do almond milk yogurt. So this is Kite Hill, this is a low sugar, just one gram of sugar. This is unsweetened almond milk yogurt. Um, and it says now creamier, so you can see the big portion, if you wanna have this for one meal. So you can see 140 calories compared to 90 calories. Um, and you can see 18 grams of protein actually compared to four. So in this case, the actual Greek yogurt is going to be uh, more nutritious for the protein. But just giving you all an option, you can do plant-based. They make almond milk yogurt, coconut milk yogurt, but they're gonna be lower on the protein. So just keep that in mind. Another substitute, I try to do my research for you all and give you all of the options. Who do we have here? We got Jurgen in the house coming through from Germany saying good morning. All right, don't laugh, but y'all know me. I got this from Whole Foods. You can also get sheep's milk yogurt, all right? So this is Chatham Creamery sheep's milk yogurt plain. Let's take a look at this. So for the container, it's 500 calories and the protein is 32 grams. So the real um, animal based has uh, a, lot of, a lot more protein in it. And then the last one for you all, goat milk yogurt. So this is Redwood Farm goat, uh, goat milk, smaller portion. So the long and short of it, we are gonna make it with the Faye, but I love to give you all substitutes. So you could do Greek yogurt, almond milk, coconut milk, sheep's milk, or goat's milk, all right? So those are your yogurt substitutes. And then let's see, did you all say, I don't know if anybody cares, we will do the berry sangria or the fruit punch. All right, let us continue. Oh, let me take this down so y'all can see. For one of these guys in, and this is like for a pitcher. So I figure this is about half a pitcher of fluid. So I put half of one of these guys in and then I mixy, mixy, mixy. Now, you do need a bigger bowl because it does make it easier to mix. Just for visuals, I'll show you guys. You put this guy in. That looks great. And then we just mix this guy. So this is my prep time. Can we start the timer? Here's my prep time. You also get a nice little forearm pump, so you get a little pre-workout workout if you know what I'm talking about. What's cool about this is it actually smells like Yoplait or Danon or any of your favorite, uh, you know, yogurt yogurt brands that we know and loved when we grew up and then later found out they were made by big pharma to kill us and all that stuff. Anyways, I like Fruity Pebbles. All right. So this is my preferred. So now let's get this cereal. So you all can see what we're doing so far. Again, this is man food, protein, no cooking in today's recipe. Hello, Moa Destiny. Hello, uh, Christina's here. <laughs> Julia says, you just joined. What are we doing? I have no idea. We are making protein-packed recipes from Alex Hormozzi's cookbook. Cookbook, all right? So now cereal. If y'all like cereal, you can shout out your favorite cereal. This is like full sugar cereal that we all grew up with. I don't know if y'all like Fruity Pebbles, but this is what he uses. So I'm gonna let the video play and you can see how he makes. So if, you, if you're noticing here, he's basically taking simple cereal and milk, which is like a breakfast food. Y'all are laughing. I know, right? Simple um, cereal and milk, but changing it to yogurt and cereal or cereal and yogurt, less cereal, less sugar, less carbs, and Greek yogurt, which is full of protein, all right? So I'm gonna let him make it, and then I'm gonna try and recreate it. So that is what we're doing here. This is his recipe number one. So this is the kickoff of our protein series. 
serial choice. Let's take this guy out. And so here's the cool part, is that this can stretch a really long way. So a cup of this has 140 calories in it and 30 grams of carbs, pretty much nothing else. It's almost all carbs, all right? So let me show you guys a fancy trick. So leave the actual cereal scooper as one cup in there so that you always know what you're getting every time. And so for me, I pull out my cup, make sure it's even on the top, go give yourself a heaping scoop, all right? And then after that, I know I've got 140 calories of carbs. And so rather than mix them in because then they get soggy, what I'll do is I'll sprinkle some on top. Doesn't that look delicious? Uh, and then I'll peel off the first layer. They stay crunchy. And then I'll put the next layer on. And then I'll peel off the second layer. So I can actually have this nice fruity pebble crunch all the way through it. And you can see, I didn't like I barely used a lot of my cup, but I just did two kind of coverings worth. And you can use like a cup is plenty. You can do a half cup, like if you're dieting, because I've done this when I was dieting. If you use a half cup of this, it's 70 calories, it's 15 grams of carbs, and this thing's 500 calories of protein. Oh, look at that bowl. Nothing else in it, almost nothing else, right? So that's my choice. It's like, this is a filling breakfast. <laughs> okay, okay. Food. He says that is a filling breakfast. So let's see if we can try to recreate this. So again, three ingredients, the big thing of yogurt, crystal light, and fruity pebbles. So I am going to make it. What is y'all's favorite uh, childhood cereal? Lisa says Count Chocula. <laughs> if I'm being really bad, I know. Christina says, what in the world? Exactly. Well, welcome to man food. And look, y'all, I saw this and I thought the same thing, but I put a survey out and y'all voted that you wanted these protein recipes. So let's see what we can do. So what he did is he actually got a bowl. So I'll get a bowl. Um... And I'm not going to make the big one, you all. You all let me know, especially for the men that are in here. Could you eat this whole thing as a meal? So what he does is to save dishes, shout out to the men, he uses this as his bowl, all right? So he would open this, put the crystal light in here, stir it up, and then add the cereal. All right? So this is our cereal protein bomb. We need Faye non-fat plain Greek yogurt. So for my purposes, I'm going to use the small one. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate it with this. This is what Alex is eating in the video, just so you all know. Okay. So for those of y'all that are counting your macros or whatnot, and the reason why is he, he aims to get a hundred grams of protein in every meal. Mua says you like fruit loops. Y'all know what my favorite cereal was? Y'all remember those O's that had like the little granola stuff in the center? All sugar. Christina likes golden grams. Bell, cinnamon toast crunch. He gives two options. Keep a pin in that. All right, so let me keep all of our other yogurts over here so you all can see. All right, so I'm going in with the Faye non-fat Greek yogurt, all right? So let me go ahead and open this. And this is full dairy, so this is real milk, all right? But he says yogurt apparently can be tolerated be better. Hello, uh, Malia. All right, so I didn't see a preference, so I'm going to go with the Crystal Light Fruit Punch is what I think he used. Now, this is the water bottle size. Y'all can get these in any flavor that you like, but basically we are going to simulate the sugary, sweet milk that's at the bottom of your cereal bowl. Have I ever made this before? No. Has that ever stopped me? No, all right? So I'll go ahead and stir it in here. Um, or you could put it in a bowl if you wanted to make it like a little parfait. Maybe we'll take it out and make a nice little parfait. So I have my crystal light. So this is five calories, no sugar, no protein, just the flavor, okay? So this is not... Um, <laughs> uh sanctioned by any healthy uh doctors or what and i am not a doctor all right so i'm just gonna put this in here hopefully well let's stop there let me stir it up stir it up and then taste along the way 
Uh, Soul Project says it's late for you, Maggie. It is late. We had a parent meeting at the school. So in addition to all of this, I'm still a mom. So I had to do that. So um, that's why we're doing something small tonight. Ooh, Christina likes Apple Jacks. Absolutely. Yes. I'd love to know what y'all like. Okay, let's get a spoon. All right, so we are going to stir this up. Greek yogurt and crystal light. Oh, crap. Y'all, there's paper on there. You have to take the paper. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> it's already. Ooh, it does smell good, though. One moment. I'm just going to put this in the trash. Oh, it's dripping. Y'all, this is. Okay, clearly, I've never bought Faye before. Nobody warned me. One moment. <laughs> I got a mess. <laughs> okay. I was like, why isn't it stirring? Vel is laughing. You eat Special K red berries. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that sounds good. Sorry, y'all. Look, we are, we are making the most of it. All right, so I'm just going to stir the crystal light into the yogurt here, and then I'm going to taste it. Let's pretend we're cooking. My mom, who is a retired home science teacher, this is actually a really good hack if you wanted like, um, instead of, cake, here goes my brain, instead of cake icing, you could do like Greek yogurt with crystal light. Maybe you could do this on cookie decoration because Greek yogurt is so thick, you know, kind of like a blizzard. It doesn't, anyway, focus Maggie. But my mom says, uh, use all of your senses to cook. So smell it, taste it, touch it, feel it, all of that good stuff. Don't just follow the recipe. Get in there with it. All right, so I'm just stirring this until all of the white yogurt is blended with the red crystal light. And I did like what he said about it kind of, uh, y'all are laughing at me. I know Soul Project says it's late. It is late. So I like what he said is that it does smell like uh, Dannon or Yoplait. And y'all, those of us that are moms, you know, we buy those, you know, nothing wrong with it, but those go and those yogurts for our kids. And if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, you know, a lot of times you think, well, I don't eat sugar, but you don't realize how much sugar is in a lot of those like flavored yogurts. So I always say this could be a good hack just for some of y'all as a snack. Um, buy the sugar-free yogurt or the yogurt without added sugar and then add it could be stevia or whatever you like in here hello uh da okay so it looks pretty good i'm going to give it a quick little taste and see if we need any more crystal light all right so again this is our greek yogurt now again in the cookbook he is using this size i am using this size okay but this is a meal for him. He does the big one for breakfast. All right, so let's give this a little taste and see. Mmm, zippy. I want a little more. Y'all, that Greek yogurt kind of tart though. But hey, shout out to the bro team. <laughs> All right, so let's just put in a little bit more and I'm gonna stir it up. Woo, y'all. This is day one. <laughs> all right, let's just uh, get that last little bit in there. So if you all are looking at uh, portions, this was one small and one stick of the um, crystal light, or it could be, you know, generic, whatever you like. All right, so we're getting our yogurt and uh, it does smell really good though, y'all. You could have fun with this. They have all kinds of different flavors, you know, lime, orange, whatever for those drink mixes. Okay, now I know to be a man, well, I don't know anything about being a man, but as a man, he said that he eats it directly out of the container, which saves dishes. I understand that, but you all know we eat with our eyes first and I like a little bit of presentation. So I am gonna take it out and put it in a little glass dish. Hello, G code, but Alex eats it out of here, okay? Jurgen is laughing at me. Yes, crystal light is tart, y'all. But we're doing it. Okay, let's get a little bowl so that we can make a nice little presentation. It's important. All right. Um, yeek. Oh, goodness. 
Okay, we'll just use this. Um, so let's, um, we're gonna go back to the, uh oh, did I lose TikTok? Oops, sorry y'all. Um, we're gonna go back to the video and you'll see that what he does is we're gonna get the fruity pebbles, which is what he uses. So I have regular old, regular old fruity pebbles and you can see how nice, look at it. It says um, gluten-free, isn't that nice? <laughs> Bill says, are you having this every day for the series or something different every day? Something different every day. So for those of y'all who just uh, hopped in or maybe missed it, Alex Hormozzi, and I did put the link in the description. Alex Hormozzi has a new cookbook of 12 brotastic recipes and you all voted that you wanted to see them. So we are going to do a different one every day. Hello, Shatu and hello, I Hill. All right. So we're going to do a different one every day. This is day one. So far, this is what we got. All right. I don't know what happened. Let's resume. Okay. Sorry, TikTok. Condemn says, yes, the men are agreeing. They eat it right out of the container. Okay. That's always an option. Filling, filling breakfast. It looks like a massive bowl of cereal, except this has almost 100 grams of protein in it. It doesn't take any time to prep. And if you eat it out of there, which is what I normally do, you don't even have any dishes. Let's see if it's as good as I remember it. Still delicious. By the way, if you do have a beard, beard nemesis. So definitely I don't have a beard. Check yourself in the mirror before you leave the house. Otherwise, you'll pink shift all over your face. Sorry for the sweaters. Sense. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so that is the end of recipe one. Let's see if we can make it and taste it and see if we like his cereal protein bomb, okay? So I am going to scoop this out into a little glass container because why be regular when you can be extra? Plus, I want the pictures to look, you know, like I actually, well, it's supposed to be man food, but y'all know. All right, so let's just put this in here, see if we can get it nice and swirly like a little Froyo or something. But this Greek yogurt, make sure everybody can see. This Greek yogurt, you know, is really thick and it's got a lot of character. So I'm using this small container. Oh, the little swirl is nice. It's kind of pretty. Let's see if we can get all of it. Maybe I'll get that little spatula. All right. So we have a little container here. Mmm. It's good. It's tart. All right. This is my bowl. This is Alex's bowl. All right. It's going with the Fruity Pebbles and he measures a whole cup. Now, I did not buy a whole box of cereal. He keeps a box of cereal. He says in the video, we're going to go through the whole thing, but over 12 days. He says in the video that um, he, he doesn't have a problem eating the same thing every day for like two years. Maybe if you're on some type of bulk up plan, you know, that works for you. I like, you know, finding different recipes for y'all. Oh my gosh, it's been years. When's the last time y'all had Fruity Pebbles? Okay, so I'm gonna get a measuring cup. but I'm not gonna eat a whole cup of it. So this is a one cup measuring. And what he says he does is he leaves this inside the cereal box. So this is one of those to go. I'm just gonna, let me do it over, well, I think it's okay. I was gonna say, let me do it over the sink. All right, almost a cup. So what he does is for portion control, he measures out a whole cup of the fruity pebbles. And then like he said, instead of just dumping the whole thing in here inside the yogurt, which would, would get soggy, he does it layer by layer. So he sprinkles a little bit of the fruity pebbles on here like a garnish. And I'm gonna take a picture cause y'all know me. What are we thinking? I should have left the a little too much. Let me get some yogurt in there. Okay. Um, and this is what he eats in this size for breakfast. All right. So let me see if I can get a picture. There's really no video. And then I'm going to taste it. 
and then I'll do the other version and then we'll be done. We're only doing one recipe for, for per day. All right, so this is the series. So this is the Fruity Pebbles and let me put the Faye here and the Fruity Pebbles here and the Crystal Light here. All right. Let me try and get a little picture from the side. All right. Let's do our quick video. All right, so this is recipe number one from the 12 days of protein. This is the cereal protein bomb using Greek yogurt, crystal light, and fruity pebbles. Enjoy. All right, so for those of y'all that count your macros, this is the recipe. Now I'm going to taste it. Uh-oh, knocking my stuff over. Now let's give it a taste. Hello, 80s baby. Thank you so much for being here. Belle says, alternative to ice cream. Ooh, you say, I bet it would be good frozen. Yeah, frozen yogurt, absolutely. Lisa says, are you going to get that jacked if you eat like this? Probably not, because me neither. Y'all know I told you, Maggie's like memory foam. But for those of y'all that are really trying to bulk up, give it a try and let's see. So he does it layer by layer. So he just puts a little bit of the cereal and then scrapes up some. That's good! Why? Mm-hmm. I like it. It's good. And you know, because this is yogurt and not cereal, y'all know, if you have boys, y'all know how boys eat cereal out of the box. And you eat so much of this because this Greek yogurt is so thick, it forces you to eat it a little slower. So what he says is he kind of does it layer by layer, scrapes up some. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So it stays crunchy. <clears throat> then when he gets down to a layer, he adds a little more. This is just like a man. Like, I would never think to do this. Shout out to the men for co coming up with ways to keep your cereal crunchy. So this, let me know, would y'all eat this? And for the men, would you eat this portion? So if you just came on, he uses this baie. <laughs> I used this baie. All right. So that is the first recipe. He gives us two options. I lost a little bit of cereal. It's actually not bad. And if it keeps you full, you could probably do whatever cereal you like. He gives us another option towards the end. So I'm going to fast forward and do the other version. But I want to know, we got Chelsea in the house saying, hey, y'all. Man, we got in a reunion tonight. Uh, Christina says, nice. Okay. Condem says the parfaits are spectacular. Is this a fruity pebble parfait? Oh my goodness, y'all. This is hilarious. Okay. One more bite. And then he has a cinnamon toast crunch version. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. We got a stream sponsor. Chelsea coming in with the $20 saying, I've missed you. Thank you so much. That is so generous. I'm going to put you up on the struggle stream whiteboard. <clears throat> the stream sponsor is the person that gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, all of that. So I'm going to let this play while I get Chelsea up on the board. For those of y'all who missed it, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all being here, especially for this crazy series. But when you go above and beyond, I really, it just means the world to me. So let me get you up on the board and then we'll do the cinnamon toast crunch version and then we'll be done. So I'm gonna let this play so you can see some of the other stuff that he does, but we'll do one per day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got a new marker. There it is. 
Chelsea with the toe. Ooh, it's dripping everywhere. Hold up. We got, we got a problem. New marker. Thank you so much. Thank you for the $20. I got to clean it up. Okay. So we just saw his, um, Fruity Pebbles version. So I'm going to fast forward towards the end. He mentions another option for this, but don't worry. We will come back and do all of the other uh, options. So I want to know what you are thinking of your Fruity Pebbles parfait. All right. So we're going to do all of these. Don't worry. There was a cinnamon. Here it is. All right. Over here. Let me get the ingredients ready. We'll do some more. Seconds, so we'll find out, by the way. Oh, this is good. For you guys, feel free. Thank the team. Uh, they put that together for you guys. So hopefully, you guys can get more Jack. Who doesn't want more Jack? I do. All right. So 90 seconds. I have another Faye. Let me get that. Let me show you a little special edition Faye. I gave you guys the Fruity Pebbles and Crystal Light Fruit version. There's also a Cinnamon Toast Crunch version that I had. I think it's done a pretty good way. All right, so same original base of Faye, but here's the difference, is that in the Faye, instead of squirting in Crystal Light, you're going to add in vanilla extract. Okay. Mixy, mixy, add in one or two packets of your fake sugar of choice or real sugar if you feel like adding calories. I don't care either way. All right, and then on top of that, instead of adding Fruity Pebbles, you go CTC like a king on top, sprinkle it, and enjoy. And if you want to get fancy, fancy, and you're serving it for your lady, take some cinnamon do a little dusting on top. All right, let's do the dusting. Mm. Back to okay, right. so that was your little bonus. So let's do that. So you all have seen the basic. So I have another Faye. I'm going to remember to take the top off. And all we need is vanilla and sugar-free sugar. So it could be stevia. It could be monk fruit. Hello, caring. Let's see what y'all are saying in the chat. Y'all ready for Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Oh my goodness. Okay, now, do I have actual Cinnamon Toast Crunch? No, I got a healthy version, okay? This is Catalina Crunch. It's keto friendly, but it's gonna give us our Cinnamon Toast Cereal version. All right, so we take our yogurt, small portion for me, and since we're using the Faye Greek yogurt, take the little paper off the top, one moment. All right, so he says vanilla. Chelsea's here, Chelsea bought this for us. I do have a teacher's wish list. If y'all wanna get any supplies for the class, you can go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. Thank you so much, my dear. So we still have this uh, vanilla. Um, you could use your other um, seasoning, not seasonings, extracts as well. So we're just gonna, excuse me, we're just gonna eyeball it. So I don't know. I don't mind vanilla, so I'll do a little extra on the vanilla. And um, if you have the packed sugar, let me see if I have the packed sweetener. If not, I've got the big one. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. It's probably in here somewhere. But I have this. I have the Walmart uh, Stevia. So this is our sugar-free sugar, so our zero calorie sugar. But use monk fruit, use Splenda, use Equal. Y'all know I am not the food police. Uh, there are some sweeteners that are um, natural, like monk fruit and Stevia that come from plants. And then there are some that are laboratory made, like uh, Equal and Splenda. Do what works for you. All right, so let's get a clean spoon and we're gonna put some Stevia in our uh, vanilla yogurt. All jokes aside, instead of buying vanilla flavored yogurt like some of the, the store-bought brands or Dannon or Yoplait, if you look, they have a lot of extra sugar in them. So this could be just a vanilla yogurt uh, for you. So let's just do, let me set this down so I don't mess up. I'm gonna do a heaping teaspoon, I'm not really measuring, of stevia. What might be nice is if you had like sugar in the raw or monk fruit, something that had a little bit of brown color to it, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and stir this stuff, stir it up. Or if you have the vanilla that had a little brown to it, um, you can get a nice little uh, darker color, but we have what we have. So we're just gonna stir this up 
and then we're going to taste it to see if it tastes like a sweetened vanilla yogurt without the sugar. And of course, we'll put it in another container. <laughs> so I don't know if y'all are team Fruity Pebbles or y'all team uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But this could be a snack for all of y'all instead of milk and cereal in the middle of the day. Hello, blood covered. If you want to still have your cereal, maybe you have less of it and then use it as a parfait. Shout out to you, Condemned. Jurgen says, how many calories does the paper have? <laughs> y'all always love to remind me when I mess up. I try to move on gracefully, but here y'all come. I used to eat paper as a kid. You didn't ask me that. All right, let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Killa says, is Swerve natural? I think Swerve, I think I have it in there. I think Swerve is erythritol, and I think that comes from grapes. I think so, but I'm not a doctor, but I think it is. Hello, she can't be me. Uh, you're going to try this with the girls. <gasps> He says, I'm serving this live. I'm going to the grocery store in the morning. Oh my goodness, y'all. Please go check out cooking. I'm sorry, Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. We did a cooking collab, gosh, last year. Y'all, he is a another Southern. <laughs> Shout out to Carolina. Sorry. Um, he does uh, all kind of soul food and grilling and everything. Everybody put Ray Mac in the chat. Thank you so much for uh, being here. I'll drop the link in case anybody wants to chat. But I'm just playing the video because I know y'all are popping in. You can see this is his brotastic uh, protein bomb. Okay, so we have a vanilla flavored yogurt here, 16 grams of protein, 80 calories, because all we added was vanilla and stevia. All right. And uh, I am going to do a little dusting of cinnamon just to be extra. All right. For a color as well. And then we'll put the cinnamon toast crunch. So this is optional, but he says, if you want to be fancy, you can add a little bit of cinnamon to it. All right. So I'm just going to put a little bit on top here. Give me a little bit of cinnamon. Then we'll put it in a container or a nice little container. And, um, oh yeah, get that cinnamon in there. Let's do a little bit more. This is optional, but y'all know me. Aye, Ray Mac. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for being here and happy new year to you. I've been seeing y'all. Ray Mac is actually doing it. He's out there selling plates. I see him and sometimes he has this little singing and his karaoke and whatnot. Oh my goodness. So yes, y'all please check him out. He is on all socials, Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. All right, let's give this a little taste with the cinnamon. Y'all can see the little flakes in there. Oh, kind of comes up on the end. Mrs. Unicorn says, I like Ray Mag. Yeah, he's over on YouTube. If y'all want to come over and say hello to Ray in the chat. Okay, let's get a nice little bowl or something that looks better. Um, <clears throat> it could really be anything. This is kind of big, but y'all know. We eat with our eyes. So again, for the men, you will probably just put your cereal on top of here, but we're gonna scoop this out. This is our Greek yogurt, but I also gave you all some options for plant-based yogurt, sheep's milk, goat's milk. Now I will tell you this, let me give you all, while I'm building this one, let me give you all the honest to God's truth because everything ain't equal, but I love to give you guys options. All right, so we are using the Faye that is real Greek yogurt. This is non-fat, so it's low in fat, but high in protein. It's still really thick and really creamy. We've added some stevia and we've added some vanilla. Excuse me. So this one is probably going to be the smoothest, you know, most close to yogurt. Now, Greek yogurt is going to be a little bit more tart. Mmm then you're like um, flavored yogurts, but it's uh, it's got staying power. Hello, Rob, the gentleman. Thank you so much for being here. Watcher Supreme is here. You're ready and hungry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much. All right. So imagine this is cinnamon toast crunch or whatever cereal you like. All right. So we got cinnamon toast cereal. This is just the lower sugar version. Now, 
If you're using a substitute, the almond milk, this Kite Hill yogurt, you can get the big tub, but it's made from almond milk. It is good. However, it's got a little bit of grit to it as you, you know, as it dissolves down because it's made from crushed up almonds. So if you don't mind a little bit of texture, y'all know I'm big on texture. So I just have to tell you that if you don't mind a little bit of texture, then um, that could be an option for you. Let me get a measuring cup for portion control. He does a whole cup. This is just uh, a half a cup. And the reason he pours it in a container like this is so that it can stay crunchy as he eats it. All right. So we got our cinnamon toast crunch substitute. And he's going to sprinkle a little bit of it on here. And then I will also do a little dusting of cinnamon just for the garnish. Let's do a little bit more. So that's your almond milk yogurt. Very good, but a little gritty, if I'm being honest. Now the goat's milk yogurt and the sheep's milk yogurt. Mm, also an option, but they are going to be a little strong, a little pungent, a little forward, a little gamey, like goat's cheese. If you don't mind that, that's fine. If you like sour cream or blue cheese, you'll probably be fine. But just, you know, if you're new, it could be a little bit of an experience for you. All right, so here is our Cinnamon Toast Crunch Protein Bomb. Uh, Anna Wool says, I love your show. Thank you, my first time seeing here, welcome. All right, so we have this one for Cinnamon Toast Crunch and this one for Fruity Pebbles. So let's take a taste of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Make sure you all can see. There you go. All right, let's get a spoon. So this was fun, giving you all some options. All right, so let's go in here with our cereal, our yogurt, our cinnamon dusting. Wait a minute. thought I like this one y'all and I know I have the healthy cinnamon toast crunch but I think if you're doing the like Greek yogurt and the stevia you could probably get away with the real cinnamon toast crunch but it's good I don't know how to explain it it tastes a little bit more grown up this one really just reminds you of being a kid but this one actually tastes like food, maybe because it's like yogurt and cinnamon, but it's got like a savoriness to it that's really good. Mm. Chelsea says, looks amazing. Gillis says, mountain high yogurt is the best yogurt. Sprouts carries it. Walmart used to, but they stopped. And sometimes you see it in other stores, you eat it with honey. Okay, inbox me, cause I'll forget and I will definitely give it a try. Gillis says, it looks better. The colored cereal scares you. Yeah, if you don't want the crystal light, you could do this. And y'all, this is actually quite good. But that is his technique. Scrape off, a, scrape off a layer of the cereal and then top it with some more. Mm. Good night. Mm -hmm. Mm. So yes, we are done for day one. What do you all think? Would you eat this as a meal, as a snack? Um, for the men or those of y'all that really want a lot of protein, could you eat this in one sitting with your crystal light and your um, fruity pebbles? But this could be a really good substitute for milk and cereal yogurt and cereal it'll slow you down especially if you do the um zero fat it'll slow you down meaning meaning it'll keep you from just you know piling it in y'all know how we do a cereal bell says you would do it for a snack christina would do it for a meal yeah i'm actually really liking it y'all this cinnamon toast crunch one i would probably do like more vanilla more cinnamon and more stevia so I would probably double up on everything. 
I just went a little light because I didn't know what I was doing. But y'all, you could sit down and this requires no cooking. Shout out to the men. If you don't want to clean up, eat it out of the container like he does. But I'm actually really liking this. So I may play around with it and I may give it a try um, with some of my plant-based yogurts. Y'all know I'm usually dairy-free. But um, I know when I had the Greek yogurt in Greece, I tolerated it really well. But you all know the actual ingredients are better for you. Uh, some of the stuff here we have is just our version of it. Let me see if I have the spoon sweet there and I'll show you all my little Greek dessert. And then I'm going to let you have your evening. Now, tomorrow is Wednesday. So I have um, Ask Us Anything with Lou Caisley. Um, But let me know if you all still want to do uh, recipe number two tomorrow with Ask Us Anything or save it for Thursday. So you can either put Wednesday or Thursday in the chat. Let me see if I have my Greek dessert. So I bought this in Greece at the airport. This is Spoon Sweet, pistachio and cherry. So let me show you all. Do I want to open another one? I really don't. Um, all right. I'll do a little bit. I'll open the big faye. So when we would have Greek food, which shout out, I didn't think I liked Greek food until I actually went there and enjoyed actual Greek food. For dessert, they would serve Greek yogurt, but it was not non-fat. It wasn't even low fat. It was full fat, which just meant it was super creamy. I cannot even explain to you the texture and a little goes a long way. So I'm literally just going to make like a little mini shot glass. But this right here is what they would do. I don't know if y'all can see here. These are cherries and pistachios. And I think they take actual fruit. And what they explained to us is before it goes bad, they'll put it in the sugar solution. So y'all can see why it's still sealed. But this actually came from Greece. Um, <laughs> shout out if y'all can read that. I can't. Um, but let me show you what dessert in Greece would look like. The best gyro. And that's how you say it. It's not a gyro. It's not a gyro. It's a gyro on the coastline. So again, if you're new here, I do stream every day. I also travel every year. This summer is going to be Egypt. So y'all, the papers on this one as well. This summer is going to be Egypt. So I love uh, either cooking for you all or taking you with me. So we are planning for Egypt this summer. And if you want to travel with me, we will be having our second annual Maggie Meetup Cruise to the Bahamas. You can go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com and get all of the information. All right. So let me take off this zero calorie paper. <laughs> all right. So again, this is a meal for him. So let me just scoop out. A little bit. This is literally what they would serve. So hopefully y'all can see the portion. And they would just serve it straight, like no um, sweetener or anything, but it was the full fat. All right. I got it a little bit on the side. And then let's open this up and uh, say our good night with something sweet. <gasps> Shoot. Okay, let's take the, let's break the seal. So it's called Spoon Sweet, and they would have different flavors. Cut it away from the food. Yo, uh, Alex's protein bomb is working. So y'all can see he's doing all kind of recipes. We're going to do a whole 12 day series. So you all can see here the little candied cherries and the candied pistachios. So I love sharing different things with you all. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see this and the texture? Just, oh my gosh, look at that. So you would get after your Greek food, 
they would serve you something like this. Take me now, Lord. Y'all, it is so good. So it would usually have like more of the syrup on there. If I'm being honest, I'm going to try and drizzle a little bit. It would have like more of the syrup on there. And then you would just get some of that cherry, some of that yogurt, and some of that pistachio. And this was dessert in Greece. I almost swore. I'm telling you, there's nothing like the real thing. But yes, that is what we would have for dessert. And literally, this is all that you need. Even if the yogurt is tart. Oh my God. Mm. All right. We are at one hour. I stream for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and dismiss. Thank you, Alex Hormozy. We made your Fruity Pebbles version. We made your cinnamon toast crunch version. And I showed you all a little treat from Greece to pair with your real Greek yogurt. All right. Oh, what are y'all saying? Oh, Gillis is not having it. Okay. Belle would have it for a snack. Belle says drizzle with a little honey. Yes. Oh, on the cinnamon toast crunch. Okay. Y'all gonna have me up. So we have this zero sugar honey. This is my <laughs> uh, keto honey. I'm not keto. Keto allows you to have dairy. Usually I avoid dairy. But if you want even more, you could skip the stevia and you could do a little drizzle on here and get that with the cinnamon. Oh my God, y'all, this is a mess. Mmm. Coco Rose says, shout out to the men. You wouldn't have come out with this. Me either. Killer says, thumbs down. Condemn says, we enjoy the simple things. Absolutely. Anna says, yum. Yes, full fat yogurt is the way to go. If y'all can have it, you've got, if you ever get a chance to have authentic, full fat Greek yogurt, even if it's just this small portion, try it. Believe me. Jurgen giving the thumbs up. Hello, Sheila. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Sheila. Lisa says it looks amazing. Kadem says, what does it smell like? Oh my gosh, y'all. It smells like, oh, it smells like sugary cherries, but not the, you know, the cherries that you buy that you put in a cocktail or like a milkshake, the ones that are in that syrup, it's different. This is, it's like, the consistency of honey, it's just real. And it almost has like an earthiness to it because I know their honey has like the wildflowers and something. It's just, it's sweet, but it's got a little bit of earthiness to it. So it's, it's, it's not like, <laughs> Bill says add pumpkin seed for crunch. Oh my Lord. Oh, do I even have pumpkin seed? <sighs> okay. Only for you, Bill. Y'all know how much I love my scholars. I'm your substitute teacher, so I have some pepitas. My man told me one hour stream, that's what I get. All right, let's put a little pumpkin seeds on here. Bill is making a whole parfait. I thought we had crunch from the uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, all right, here we go. Watch me like it. I like a little salty, a little savory, but it goes really well. Wow. Hello, Grizzle. Hello, Detroit. Hello, at home. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Bell says, just to pick you up, you need it. I'm happy to. Killis likes uh, Bell's palate. Bell is on to something. So, yes, use your Greek yogurt, put your sweetener, your vanilla, your cinnamon, and your toppings of choice. The key is lots of protein, keeps you full, 
makes you eat it slower and good for muscle building or maybe losing weight, right? All right, everyone, let's go ahead and dismiss TikTok. Thank you all so much for being here. I had so much fun. Um, you like the nuttiness. Yeah, the nuttiness of the pumpkin seeds was great because cereal is so like, ah. so maybe we'll skip tomorrow since we're doing the ask us anything, unless y'all insist. But this is day one of our 12 days of bro team. All right. Thank you so much, TikTok. You don't stop. We're going to go ahead and dismiss. I appreciate you all. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Thank you so much. All right, Instagram, thank you all so much for being here. Class is dismissed. Mm, yes, Tata. Thank you, Jurgen. All right, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. I will see you all tomorrow for Ask Me Anything, Ask Us Anything with Luke Hazley. And then we'll be back in the kitchen for our second protein recipe on Thursday. All right, y'all, class is dismissed.